Hi. <laughs> I really hope this works. This is my first time streaming with like this setup. Like I have a fancy camera and um, a an actual microphone. So <sighs> we'll see if this works. I don't know. I'm going to try to play some music in the background. Let me know if you can hear me. And if you can hear the music in a second. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to switch it over to my iPad in a second. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> All right, here I am. Okay, can you see me? Kind of. My Wow, my face is so close. <laughs> That's okay. It's also a little bright. Whatever, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at something. Okay. Yeah, this is all just one big test, so I... We're just gonna roll with it. And kind of start drawing and see where it goes from there. Oops, sorry, hold on. Okay. And bear with me because I'm I'm just kind of learning how to use this program now. I've been meaning to. Um, this might take me a while to find my way around everything. I really made it hard for myself because not only do I have to color this in, but I have to color it in. Oh gosh. Um, so with Rizzo, you're kind of like mixing colors. So when I have to go paint it, I have to like mix, like use the color theory in my head already. I'm not explaining that well. I'm just gonna, okay, let's just go. have to do it like color by color and I can only use four colors at a time for each print because that's how a Rizzo works. Oh, 
Oh, this is just so nerve wracking with this because I'm not used to this program. I wish I could name layers. It's gonna be a little confusing. Hey Tara, what's up? I really wish I was working in Photoshop right now, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm trying to figure out how to use Fresco because my iPad is what I use. Um, I think I'd like, let's music so loud. Um, I'd like to get a Cintiq at some point. I'm just talking to myself, but just saying my hopes and dreams. Okay. This is all just one big test. Okay, so that's... Oh, okay, I gotta think about what I'm doing. Probably should have learned, uh, figured out how to do this before I started this stream. <laughs> oh, okay, I can name it. Okay, great. So this is gonna be yellow. Um, thirty percent. Um, we're gonna make this. Hmm, should we do red? Pink. We'll do this fluorescent pink. We'll also set that to 30. Oops. Hang on one sec. Sorry, I just want to make sure this is working because, again, this is all just one big test. Hold on, I'm gonna see the phone. I'm looking at it on my phone. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it's working. Probably hear that echo. Alright, let's continue. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try my best to just keep going. Uh, okay. I feel like this is also, this program's kind of slow. Or it might just be, because I'm streaming it. Oh, cool. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see your name. But I can... <laughs> but I can read your comment. Yes, I'm watching on my phone. Thanks for sharing how you're figuring it out, too. Oh, yeah, no problem. Really, just... I... Yeah, there's no guarantees this is correct, but... Um... I'm trying my best here. Nosy? Is that P Pinozy? <laughs> Thanks for being here. This is my first time in a while, like, streaming at night. Um, or at least it's night here in New Jersey, but, um, usually I stream, like, early afternoon. So... Still trying to figure out what the best time is for everyone. Okay, so I got a general skin tone there. And I'm using my 
fluorescent pink and yellow. Um, I'm going to make another layer of black. And I'm going to put that at like a 75% black. For this. And that'll be for the hair. Painting for Rizzo is always tricky because I feel like I always end up with a million different layers. Let me try this brush. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, a million different layers. Oh, that's so much faster though. Wow. Uh, and I become really unorganized, but I like to use a lot of different layers because I get nervous about making mistakes. Okay, yeah, this brush is so much better. I don't know why there's a, like a weird lag on the other one. So I feel like... There's a little bit unevenness in the color in the skin, but I'll come back to that. I'm just trying to get basic colors down right now. Um, also, is my face like in the frame? Basically is. Um, whoops, missed a spot. But I guess the good thing with Rizzo is that it doesn't have to be perfectly in the lines or whatever, because you it's gonna like the nature of the printing of the machine is it's gonna go outside of the lines most likely anyway, so I'm just trying to get it approximate. This brush is so pixely though, but I guess you won't notice. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um I guess Okay, so right now I have my colors are black, fluorescent pink, and yellow. I don't know what I'm going to name. Okay, so I can pick one more color. And it's going to be blue. Should it be blue? No, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should make the line work blue. I'm gonna make the line work blue, see how it goes. Okay. Let's figure out how to fill. This layer? How do I do that? How do I fill a whole layer? <laughs> Can I just do that? It's not working. Okay. 
Okay, this is really weird. Let me delete this. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Half the stream is just me figuring out how to make this work. Okay. Yeah. Just fill the whole thing, please. Fill. How would you like to fill this pixel? Okay, got it. Now I'm gonna... Okay. So, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that, but maybe I will. And then I'm going to... Also... So the hair is gonna be blue. And... Okay, so right now... The colors I'm using are blue, fluorescent pink, and yellow. Okay, cool. I'm just hitting like random buttons and I'm not, I don't know how anything works. Okay. That's cool. That's what happens. Okay. I think I'm going to... The last one's going to be green. The last color. That to multiply. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave that at 100% for now. And then, so I know this is going to look terrible right off the bat. But... Hopefully as we add the colors on top. It won't look as bad because I'm not I'm not much of a fan of greens in general. I was coloring on the background. Oops. Let's undo that. Green. Okay, let's try that again. I'm just gonna try to fill this in really quickly and then fix it later. If anything goes outside of the lines. Where I think I want this green to end up being like a teal or something. Which means I have to add another blue layer. And I'm going to put that at like 50% opacity. And I'm going to try to... I'm gonna start making some groups here. Somehow, can I make groups? Somehow, there's gotta be a way. Oh, right there, okay, great. This is gonna be blue. 
And okay. Okay. So if I put blue, whoops, that's another green. Let's Uh, actually, I think I want that at a hundred percent blue. gonna look a little crazy. This is so much harder than just doing regular painting. You really gotta know your color theory. Uh, okay, we might change that later, but what the heck, I'm just gonna keep going with this. Fill in the big areas as much as I can. Okay. So, yep, it's looking kind of crazy. That's okay. trying to fill it in roughly and then I can always change the colors later 
but usually this is the hardest part is just like blocking in the color I guess I have two other um, comics I wanted to color tonight, but now I'm thinking that I might not get to it. <laughs> I forgot how long this takes. We shall see. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Oh, my face is so close. Okay. I'm trying to angle it more. Did that work better or worse? Maybe worse. Oh. Oops. I wish this was... Some wasn't so close to my face. Okay. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. Is the music still working? I can't tell. I don't think it is. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. Yay, what's up? We are streaming. Oh, it's a little rough. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This is so hard to do. Or, like, to figure out. Oh, this is so teeny. Okay. Looks so pixely. Hey, 
Lindsay, what's up? Glad that you're here. This is so cool. Hold on one second. I'm hearing music. I don't know if you guys are, but it's weird. That music is just a little awkward, I guess, but we're just going to keep going. This is all just one big test. I feel like I've said that before, but I am terrified. This is looking wild right now. Maybe not in a good way. <laughs> Hopefully in the end, it'll look better. Ooh, okay. Okay, I got all of the blue filled in. Um, okay, I have to think about this for a second. This is going to hurt my brain. What are your thoughts on YouTube versus Twitch so far? Um, I feel like... <laughs> I'm gathering my thoughts. I I feel like you know Twitch. I have it's it's better for like a, a lot of random people to find the stream, I guess. But um, YouTube is definitely, I think, more accessible to just people who aren't used to live streams or gamer people. So that's why I'm trying YouTube right now. Um, but like the ease for me in streaming either way it's it's pretty much the same uh but i don't know yeah we'll see i might switch to twitch switch switch to twitch uh but i have no idea i guess i'll end up doing just whatever uh people prefer <laughs> time will tell if anybody has any strong opinions about Twitch, or Twitch versus YouTube, go ahead and let me know. I think I talked about it in the last stream I did. People were giving opinions, but I am very down to hear everybody's opinion, for sure. You know, I'm thinking instead of blue, I should be do doing black. No, instead of green, I should be doing black. Hold on, I'm about to switch a lot of things around. This is going to get very confusing for me. Um, okay. So I want this. Can I put it back? Okay, good. I can. Okay. Because I, I want that to be blue. Do I want that? Yes. I want that to be blue? Yes. I want this to be black. So, I'm gonna move this. We are gonna delete this layer. So it turns back to black. And we're gonna make this layer black instead if I can figure out how to Fill this in. Okay. Okay, cool. And can I merge that down? To, let's do... Yeah, 50, around 50% is good. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Slowly figuring out what colors I want this to look like. Slowly. Okay, so now I just have to finish filling in this black layer here. Okay. 
I think I might also just be partial to YouTube because that's just what I watch more in general. Because even, like, I like playing video games and I like watching people play video games, but I prefer kind of, um, I prefer watching, like, playthroughs rather than live streams, I think. So I think this is kind of similar, but not because obviously I'm live streaming this, but I'm posting it, but maybe I can do just post like more curated or edited um live quote unquote or like a draw with me kind of video where i what's the word not narrate that's not the right word commentate while drawing it's all just one big experimentation i don't know what the heck's going on Gonna kind of block this in. Oh, wait, hold on. I know what's a lot easier to do. Can I? <laughs> oh gosh, it's fine. I'm just slowly catching on. I'm gonna duplicate this layer, put it into the black folder. This is so much faster. And then I'm going to fill this layer with black, merge down, and then set that to 50. There we go. Faster. Moving right along. Okay, so I don't need this one anymore. I'm getting the hang of this very slowly. Okay, so this black and then okay so that's blue so then I think I'm gonna make her jeans blue as well um I feel like most people I know barely know what twitch is yeah but I agree with you that YouTube's reach might not be so great as for as twitch for live streaming the struggle yeah that's very true <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know, because I really don't know any other, um, illustrators who are streaming on YouTube, and it might be for a reason, but, I don't know, we'll see. I guess it depends on, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on my mood. We'll see what's going on. Ah, uh, thanks for hanging out, Nicole. Welcome. I'm happy that you caught the stream also. Hopefully it's not too much of a disappointment. I'm just kind of figuring out what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to make this a blue layer also, but I'm going to make it like 25% blue. 25-25. Maybe my next stream I'll try I'll try it on Twitch. See how that goes. See if I get more engagement or like I have no idea if it's worth it or not. Um Hi Erin. Sorry if I'm making a weird face. I don't have my glasses on so I can barely re read the the chat. <laughs> but I can't wear my uh-oh. There goes my webcam. Did my camera die? Oh, <gasps> my camera died, you guys. I can't believe that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch to my webcam. One moment, please. I'll be right back. Wait, I think I can only figure this out while... Is this going to work? I'm so scared. Okay, this works. It doesn't look as good, but it works. Uh, 
That's too bad. That's that's hold on. <laughs> oh, I look crazy. Oh, I think I just have to move myself. Okay, it's fine. Let's just move over. Um ah, uh, so much for my fancy setup. That's okay. I'm just gonna have to find like an external thing to keep it plugged in. We are just uh figuring this out as we go along. At least I still have my mic. I think that's still working. Even though my music also stopped working. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Figuring it all out as I go along. My boyfriend is my personal tech guy, so I'm going to have to have him rewatch this whole thing and figure it out. Uh, thanks, Lindsay. Thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> At least I, like, thank goodness for webcams. That's, like, such a reliable backup. Otherwise, you guys would have had to just see, uh... Like a blank screen. Or just me drawing. I guess that's not so bad. Plenty of people do that. That camera battery really didn't last that long, though. I had charged it fully. But that really drained fast. Okay. It's coming together. We're doing all right. Um, okay, so I already forgot what colors I'm using, but first I'm going to make a group out of this blue. Great, okay. Um, so I am using, okay, yeah, fluorescent pink and yellow. I think I'm going to make the shirt yellow because that's my go-to. Uh, so what am I doing? So I need to make a new layer. I'm gonna keep this at probably 100% yellow, but I still have to put multiply. Um, okay. And then use my yellow. Um, do you also take awkward reference photos for your art like I do? <laughs> My phone album is full of them. Yes, absolutely. Uh, one day I'll just have to share them all. But yeah, absolutely. Like, I definitely... This is a redraw of a comic from like a year or two ago, but I definitely still have the reference photos for this in my phone. I've been trying to work at getting better at not using reference photos, not because I don't think you should, but because it's, um, like, sometimes I just don't feel like setting up my camera or, or my phone to take a picture of me. It's just, like, I just don't want to spend the time doing that. And I've been getting a little bit better because I, I took out, like, a gesture drawing course, and that actually helped a lot, um, just practicing figure drawing and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's nothing that beats reference photos. <laughs> uh, any reason why Photoshop instead of Procreate? Um, oh, well, this is Fresco. Um, I just, like, I had never, or I haven't used it as much as I wanted to. Um, like, once it came out, I kind of forgot that it did. And so, um, I thought it would be nice to or like easier to integrate with photoshop especially with rezo stuff so i don't know it's just it's um uh, i'm definitely testing it out and i like it it's just different from what i'm used to so there's a little bit of a learning curve for sure uh 
I like to test out a lot of uh, different programs, so it's fun to see the differences and stuff. Hold on one sec. Kind of dressed like Arthur here with the yellow sweater and the blue jeans. I'll probably add in some fluorescent pink so it's not quite so bright. This yellow. I do love Arthur, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Arthur, real G. <laughs> That's what's up. I feel like I'm just super distracted by it, like my music isn't working and I don't know why. I just feel like it's so awkward and I really hope it's not. I hope you guys are just listening to music to fill in the blank spaces. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, yellow is filled in. Um, I'm gonna make another group of that. Um, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna add in some more fluorescent pink, I think. And wait, hold on. This other layer is at 30. I'm gonna make this like around 15. Oops. Let's see how that looks on top of that yellow. It's a little bit better. Definitely not as bright, which is fine by me. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm going to do this thing. That'll make it easier on myself, actually. So I'm going to delete what I just did. Go into the yellow. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Drag it out. And then fill this. There we go. Okay, cool. And okay, cool. I can adjust it from here. And let's see. Well, I kind of like it that color. Ooh. So I don't want it too close to the skin tone, so maybe I'll leave it like really kind of like an orangey. At like a 75%. I wish I could do that with my real sweaters also. Because I really only wear this... Like the same two like sweatshirts and sweaters especially now that I don't leave my house barely <laughs> so that would be nice um okay now I get to choose what color socks um okay 
So again, I have yellow, fluorescent pink, which I'm going to make a group out of before I forget. Uh, there. Fluorescent pink. Fluorescent punk. There we go. Maybe. I'll make them like. I have no idea. I'm just going to start messing around and see what happens. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so I have 30% or 100%. I'm going to go ahead and. Hello, I'm going to make this 50% around. 50% yellow. And let's see what happens. Yellow and blue make green. So maybe, right? Yeah. So maybe I'll make some kind of a green sock. But again, I'm not a huge fan of green, so maybe not. Ooh, mistake. Okay, I forgot to color this little sweater and I have to go back to the pink and add in the pink not a big deal there we go okay I'm gonna try adding in blue not sure if I'm gonna like it Eh. Eh. Maybe just did something like that. No, I think I'm gonna go back to pink and add in some pink. This is at 30%. Maybe I'll stick with something like this. Yeah. It's pretty close to the... Oh, my cat woke up. Um pretty close to the skin color but that's okay I'm gonna fix it in a second hopefully hey Lou you woke up you woke up Might have to let my cat out of the room in a second. Alright, what happens if I add blue here? Mm, Alright. I don't dislike that. Ew. 
it's just like a weird kind of brown color so that's fine what's up Lou Um, let's see. How many colors will you use to print it on the Rizzo? I'm using four for this. So I'm using blue, fluorescent pink, or um, yellow, and black. What's up, Lulu? You guys want to see Lou for a sec? Let me see if I can grab him. Here he is. He just woke up. I'm probably going to kick him out now so he doesn't bother me. All right, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. You're the leader. No? Okay, you're the one leader. He's the best. He's just, when he's hungry, He's very persistent and he's hungry all the time. Um, okay. Okay, okay. It's all gonna be okay. I just got flustered and I forgot what I was doing. So now I just need a background color. I guess. Oh, you know what? And. I'm gonna pick white and we're gonna make this text. White. I think. Okay, cool. Um Okay, background color, I am thinking, should we just go with something really bright? I'm going to try fluorescent pink, like 100%, and see what happens. You want to go in or out, Lil? What's up? What do you want? Sorry, hold on. You want to go out? Go ahead. Go. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me try the really bright color. We'll see what happens. No guarantees. Hate it already. Oh gosh, okay. Um, what is this? That's 75%. That's really scary. Okay. Um, so what I'm thinking is that... Oh gosh, okay. I'm gonna try to hide this. I'm gonna fill the whole background layer with the pink. It's gonna change every single color though, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna try it out, see what happens. Let's see if I can do this selection tool correctly. Is it just gonna, ew. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, can I just select, yeah, box. All right, let's see. Oops. 
Okay, so... Oh, this is scary. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, I don't know if that was the right move. I mean, obviously not, but... Okay, I'm gonna erase... How do I deselect? Hello. Deselect, okay. The last panel has a Dr. Manhattan on Mars vibe. All right, I'm going to embarrass myself probably by saying I don't know what that means, but I will Google it. And I'm sure it's something cool. Is that like a superhero thing? Or should I just stop talking before I make things worse? <laughs> From Watchmen. I've never actually, like I've never read any of those comics or seen the movie. And I know that's pretty bad. I'm like extremely behind on any kind of like superhero movie or a comic. One day I'll catch up, but it's, it's overwhelming how many are out there. Okay, um, I still don't love the pink, but probably be able to change it in a sec. It's weird that there's only a limited amount of erasers, like I can't use uh, the same brush as an eraser, if that makes sense. I, ha I highly recommend reading the comic and later watching the HBO series. Oh, I didn't even, see, I didn't even know if it, that it was a series. Cool, thank you. I will check that out for sure. I'm always looking for stuff to read and watch. Um, I'm not sure if anybody is here who kind of just joined who wasn't here. I don't know how long ago it was now, like 15 minutes. <laughs> but we were talking a little bit about um, Twitch versus YouTube. So if anybody has a prefer preference, please let me know. Because I'm happy to switch to Twitch if that is preferable. This color is a mess. It is a mess. Joe Blaine says both are cool. Thanks, Joe Blaine. Yeah, I kind of figure, like, my audience or whatever wouldn't have a super strong opinion. You already have videos up on YouTube, so it might make sense to keep building a YouTube following. Yeah. Instead of splitting it between two platforms. Yeah, that was kind of my thoughts exactly. Um, Like, I don't have a ton of stuff up, 
compared to other people, but it's definitely not nothing. Ooh, I really hope that coloring this works out because then I'll print it tomorrow and then I can show you guys what it looks like. Everybody start somewhere. Oh sure, yeah. I know, yeah. With YouTube followings. YouTube still don't completely understand how that algorithm works. It's all stressful. <laughs> But I'm, it's more for fun. I'm not trying to like do anything huge on there. I feel lucky with Instagram that I have uh, the following that I do, but YouTube's just kind of for fun. If it works out, cool, but it's not my main focus for sure. I have no idea if I'm gonna end up keeping this up on my channel, this video. <laughs> I feel like the first like 20 minutes was just me trying to figure out how to work this in general. <laughs> but maybe that's okay. I know most people weren't here for that part, which is fine. But I don't know if I want other people uh, rewatching that disaster. Okay, we are almost good with the erasing part, and I can finally fix this background color. Alright, I have it set to fluorescent pink, and I think it's atrocious. So let's try to fix it. Oops. Alright, so if I miss, if I mix pink with blue then well that's that's gonna be like a purpley right did I make that up maybe let me try to duplicate this color uh Uh, changing the subject a bit, uh, did any, Nicholas says, did any specific comics, uh, get me interested in just trying to make my own stuff? Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of where to even start with that <laughs> question. Um, where do I start? Well, in high school, uh, before I was even thinking about, um, getting into comics at all. I really loved Emily Carroll's comics. They're really spooky. And surprisingly, I like more of the horror comics. Um, I think my main inspiration was my friend um, Meredith Playground. Her comics are always, always, always um, they always meant a lot to me, and I, I know her like she's an actual friend, so uh, that was really inspirational. Um, as far as actual like, graphic novels, um, I love Jillian Tamaki's uh, comics and novels. Um, I'm looking at my uh, I'm looking at my book bookshelf right now. Oh, Kate Beaton. 
Heart of Vagrant was also a huge like high school read for me. Um, I'm looking at my books. Uh, those are like the big ones. Um, Eleanor Davis. Those are all some of my favorite uh, illustrators and graphic novelists. Um, those are the ones I can think of off of my head. Trungla wins um, The Magic Fish this year. Loved it. Probably my favorite thing that came out last year. Uh, I hope that answers the question okay. <laughs> I'm always really bad at thinking up uh, things off the top of my head. Um, is this right? Did I make that the right color? Oh gosh, what did I do? Okay. Okay, it's okay. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. This is wrong. Now you gotta keep this video up so we can check the re recommendations later. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I will. Or I'll try to like remember to put them in the description box so you don't even have to rewatch it. <laughs> you just have to uh, look at the description. Oh gosh, okay, I did the wrong thing. I'm gonna get this eventually. I'm gonna get this program down. Okay, so that's 100%. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. All right, pour some pink. I'm filling it with blue. No, it is right, it is right, okay. Yes. This doesn't have to be multiplied, that has to be normal. Okay, we're getting it. Okay. Cool. All right, you know what I'm gonna do though first? I am going to try to add in some yellow, see what happens. But first we're gonna play with this a little. Like a violet. And let's see, I'm gonna bring this back out, drop that into the yellow group, and hope for the best. Um, Wow, that doesn't look good. <laughs> but okay, I will try to adjust it and see what happens. Okay, that's a weird color. Don't hate it. Something like that. Don't like that. But now I really hate how that yellow looks, that yellow sweater looks, um, and the jeans. So let's try to fiddle with that a little bit. Uh, let's see. These colors are so weird. I wonder if I should just change them all together. Um, can I talk a little bit about Rizograph? What do I like about it? Rizograph? Rizograph? Still don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Um, I like it because, um, I, I would say the number one reason is because of the colors that you can get out of it. Um, I used to work for a print shop and they're actually the how I'm printing the Rizzo stuff now still even though I don't work for them work for them anymore. Um, but yeah so I learned a lot about printing there from my boss and um, but anyway so like with a regular printing process you can't really get fluorescent colors and stuff. 
um, but 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 with rizo you can like um, specifically uh, we have like a fluorescent pink and a fluorescent orange and like a really bright red and you can't especially with like reds and stuff you can't get a nice bright red in a in a normal printer so that alone makes me really excited about it um and the whole process is a lot like screen printing and any kind of like printmaking process where you you know you have to layer in the or like print the colors kind of one by one or two by two um so watching that happen is really exciting personally i, th I think it's fun so so that's that i guess all right, I really have to think this whole, like, what colors am I using here process. Because this is turning out to be crazy looking. Um, but I hope that Rizzo answer was okay. <laughs> Okay, so what do I not like about this? I don't like the kind of pinky color. Underneath. Huh. Okay. This is so tough. Um, what is this? What does that do? Okay, no. Don't like that. That's okay, but if then I feel like this kind of weird pinky background looks weird with the blue. I'm also really bad at naming specific colors, so everything's like pink, something's blue, <laughs> even though it's not anywhere near it. Um, what do we? Do? What if I made them all kind of muted? A lot of muted colors that could work. So then, the yellow sweater should end up being like a lighter color like that. And then the jeans, it could still be blue, but maybe I'll add, if I duplicate this and I make a black layer to make it darker. Um, let's see. That could work, but then... Oh, I gotta multiply it. Oh, wait, no. That's normal. Gotta merge that down. Okay. that and then oh Nicholas says I'm making a zine at the moment and I would like to print it on Rizzo okay but I'm slightly scared about the price due the number of pages but yeah definitely check the colors um every print shop has different colors but I think yeah I think it could look so cool if you make a zine um, like that. Uh, the good thing about Rizo, though, technically it's cheaper than um, printing normally. Because Rizo, uh, the ink itself is cheap. And the whole process is like it barely uses any ink. Um, so, for instance, for from another shop, I think for like for nice prints, I paid like two hundred dollars and I got a hundred prints, so that's like two dollars a print, which is pretty good. So I think 
I think you could do a zine for like not that much more. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Um, okay. Those socks are weirding me out. Gotta change them. Uh, you know what? Or at least I'm going to... Maybe add a little bit of black here. Okay, so the muted colors I think are looking a little bit better, but it's not quite there yet. Um, I think I want to take the yellow out of the socks. Which one is that? That is the sweater. Uh, or at least I want to tone it down a little bit, or tone it up. Tone it down. Tone it. Tone it up. Tone it down. What's under there? Is that a blue? It's so hard to keep track of where the colors are. Uh, oh, did I draw the blue in with the... Ew, I did. Oh, but hold on. Hold on there. I might just turn the opacity down on this a little bit. So I don't mind that. I'm actually kind of liking how this is looking. Okay, so now... Yeah, I don't mind this. Yeah, okay. Well, I was panicking, but I'm feeling better. So I'm going to... Add a new layer and just put some like white details because I kind of have like fake stars in like the puzzle piece fabric part um, and with Rizzo I can just add in a white layer on top of everything and it should work the only thing I'm nervous about is this brush because it stinks so let's try this and we'll see what happens oh I hate that great Um, that's not so bad. Just gonna make it smaller. Okay, that could work. Stars are easy because it literally is just random. This might end up looking okay. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to encourage myself. <laughs> I think I'm mostly interested in uh, whether like the pink will end up looking brighter than what's on the screen right now. But I think I have some black in there, so it'll mute it a little bit. Sorry if you can hear the tapping through the mic. I hope that's not annoying.
Thanks, Nicholas. That's really nice of you to say. Very encouraging. <laughs> one more here we go one more panel this is definitely a lot different than the one I posted on Instagram as far as colors go but I think I think that's okay because the updated version from the old version from a couple years ago those colors were also different so I don't really mind that some random slight stars there we go maybe a couple oops um how am i finding this transition to more editorial illustration compared to your older strips um i I'm not sure if I would call it editorial illustration, I guess. If anything, I, I, I felt like, personally, I felt like I was moving away from that. Um, compared to my older strips. Like, how old are we talking here? <laughs> because, like, th like, two, three years ago? Because I feel like I'm making similar work to what I was making, like, two years ago. Kind of, but my style has come a long way or if anything I feel like my my style of drawing is very it's similar to when I started 40 years ago I was negative 12 40 years ago um but yeah because I feel like I went through a phase uh about a year ago where my style was very like I would say that was more editorial or that was what was getting picked up more by like newspapers and stuff um, because it was very like blocky uh, and like it was focused more on shape I guess and colors um, but I feel a lot better about how my style looks now personally um, or it's closer to how like I envision envision it in my head and I think that's just because I'm getting better at drawing in general from practicing so um so yeah I think I'm just enjoying it more than ever uh and I feel a little bit more confident which is a big deal for me because <laughs> I'm always doubting myself but yeah so far so good um all right, I am very curious about how this prints out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna print this tomorrow. I will update everybody via Instagram, I believe. Um, but I think I'm gonna end things here. Uh, I do have a couple more things I would like to color in tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to it because this did take a while with figuring out the colors. Um, and I'm still just getting used to uh, live streaming stuff, so it's a little bit stress stressful. Um, 
especially because my camera died halfway through, so now I'm using a webcam. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Figuring it out. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys how this turned out tomorrow. Um, thank you to everybody who's watching. Uh, I guess I will save this to my page for people to reference. Uh, and yeah, thank you. Thanks for being nice, everybody, and for um, those of you who are chatting with me, it was a pleasure. Um, and I don't know what else to say. So, <laughs> ah, Joseph Bishop just caught on, so I can't wait to rewatch. Well, thank you for coming back to watch anyway. And thanks, Joe Blaine. Fun stream. That's so nice of you to say. Yeah, everybody have a good night. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often. I say that every time, but I really am. I just have to like figure out all the technical stuff so that it doesn't stress me out anymore. But I am slowly moving forward with it, so. Just you wait. Ah, uh, thank you. Is it, do you pronounce it nosy? But th thank you. Thank you for, for commenting and watching. Um, all right, I'm going to say goodnight. See you guys. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, thanks, Lindsay. Thank you, Nicholas. Oh, Sue Young. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hit the mic. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sue Young. And thanks for letting me know how to pronounce it. Bye.